Saints and Stormcast Eternals, Orcs and Undead. Today we're looking at three games from Games Workshop Limited set in their Warhammer universes. Welcome to Tantrum House Studio Awesome. I'm Ryan, and today I would like to share with you three games set in the universes of Warhammer. We have Crypt Hunters, Blitz Bowl Season 2, and Space Marine Adventures Rise of the Orcs. First, let's talk about Crypt Hunters. This is set in the Warhammer Age of Sigmar setting. One player takes on the role of a squad of Stormcast Eternals, searching the catacombs of the city for an artifact that will save the city, while the other player takes on the role of the undead chain rasps that are out to kill them. Every round starts with the train rasp players choosing how to add new tiles on the board to fill wherever the Stormcast Eternals have line of sight. The Stormcast Eternal player gets two actions with each of his characters to attack the chain rasps or try to move to find new tiles that provide the tokens he needs to win. Then, the Chain Rasp player removes tiles that have fallen out of sight of the Stormcast Eternals, adds Chain Rasps at all of the open exits, and gets three actions to move and attack the Stormcast Eternals. Next up, let's talk about Blitz Bowl. Blitz Bowl is set in a parody alternate universe of Warhammer. This is Season 2 of Blitz Bowl, but it is a standalone game. Each player is the coach of a team of fantasy creatures participating in a fantasy version of football called Blood Bowl or Blitz Bowl. The game comes with a team of humans and a team of dwarves, but includes player cards and ball cards for additional team minis that can be purchased separately. Each team has six players, three of which are ordinary linemen with no special abilities, a blitzer who excels at blocking, and two unique units. The coaches take turns having their team perform three actions, and after every action they can claim a challenge card they've completed to earn points. The actions require some strategic thinking because a character can't repeat an action during a turn, and actions available depend on whether the character is adjacent to a standing opponent or not. If you can get your characters to avoid the opposite team long enough to get to the opposite end zone, you earn three points, and you play until either the challenge card deck runs out or one of the players leads by 10. And finally, Space Marine Adventures Rise of the Orcs. This is set in the Warhammer 40k setting. It is a cooperative game, and the players are Space Marine Terminators, protecting their shield generators' power reactors from wave after wave of attacking orcs. Each round, a wave of orc appears, the Space Marines move and attack, and the orcs move towards the nearest power reactor and attack. Some orcs have special abilities, most involved doing additional damage to the Space Marines, but the war bat, the war boss, excuse me, lets all the orc boys get an extra activation, and that can be really devastating. The Space Marines have special abilities too, and they can get supply cards to help them out by collecting one of the supply tokens on the map. So, in summary, uh, these games are rather similar. They are all 30 minute games, uh, and I found that to be fairly accurate. I did find that Blitz Bowl was particularly prone to analysis paralysis, so it took a little longer. All three of the games have plastic minis that you have to separate from sprues and snap together. They snap together really well, and it's, it's a very satisfying feeling when they do that. Uh, this is kind of a mixed bag, because on the one hand, you're getting some really nice minis without having to pay much or glue them together but the way they are on the sprues made them a little bit difficult to detach without accidentally shearing off parts of the minis themselves, uh, at least in two of the games. The box inserts are pretty nice. 
I like that there's a place for everything and some things even have a fitted custom insert where they go. This pleased me a lot. Blitz Bowl was a bit of a slog overall, but I think the league play would be really cool to participate in, and I think the traits that coaches can earn are a really neat addition. There were a couple minor rules, like scoring extra points when you sweep the challenges, that are in helpful red outline boxes in the rulebook, but I would love if they were on a player aid card or the back of the rulebook, just for quicker reference. I want to love Crypt Hunters. It's a really cool game. The gameplay with the dynamic map is really interesting, but I feel like it's stacked too heavily against the Stormcast Eternal player, or at least I'm really bad at countering Kay's Nighthawk Chain Rasps. The fact that the Chain Rasps can drift through several spaces collecting other Chain Rasps to then attack you was devastating to my forces time and again. So I probably just need to play it again uh, from the Chain Rasp perspective and maybe I will dominate and it'll become my favorite of the three. Uh, but currently my favorite of the three is Space Marine Adventure Rise of the Orcs. The basic gameplay is fairly simple but the special variant orcs add a nice twist and I like that it's a cooperative game. Uh, it was just a lot of fun. So that was some really brief thoughts on what I thought about these games. Uh, and which one's my favorite. If you have gotten the chance to play any of these, uh, share your thoughts in the comments. Let me know which one is your favorite. And if you haven't checked them out, check them out. They are uh, a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed each one of them, some more than others, and you might too. And be sure to stay tuned to our channel for more videos uh, reviewing games like this one.